could get more answers about the circumstances surrounding the departure of the United Way's former CEO. Nine on your side's Jasmine Miner has both sides of the story and the action being considered this morning. Jasmine. Yeah, Julie, today the United Way board will be meeting together and sources tell us employees plan to actually protest when that meeting is happening. They're protesting the decision to part ways with CEO Michael Johnson and they're asking for a board chairman Julie Poston to resign. Now at a staff meeting yesterday, employees expressed anger and frustration. They sent us a letter last night signed by 30 employees welcoming all executive committee members to consider resigning and demanding Julie Poston's removal. This comes after an email from Johnson went public about a hostile work environment at the United Way with harsh words for Poston. Johnson is talking for the first time since leaving. I think uh, we ended up solving the issue. Uh, I can't really talk about the details that you guys have been put out there, but we both agree that you know, we will walk away and uh, say good things about um, each other. Poston responding to the controversy with a statement saying she wants to move forward constructively. She said, quote, I know that it comes from a place of passion for meeting the needs of those in poverty in our community, a passion that I share. I wish I could have shared more to address their questions, but due to terms of the settlement agreement with Michael, I am not at liberty to do so. Now, the board has said that it stands by Poston. As for uh, former CEO Michael Johnson, he will be returning to his former job at the Boys and Girls Club in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm live in Mount Auburn. Jasmine Miner, Nat on your side.